Hi guys, how you doing? Well, continue the show uh, uh, here at Bahia Honda State Park on the state of Florida in, in the United States of America, USA. Uh, I'm almost getting to the end of my uh, uh, volunteer time here. It's going to be ending on October 31st on Halloween. So I'm going home, stay there for a couple of days, and then going to another state park in the state of Florida. I will let you know later. So uh, I was planning to go to Georgia, but Georgia have a different policy uh, regarding to the volunteer. They uh, requ re require, request, they want you to work for 30 hours. I think 30 hours is too much, personally. You know, I'm donating my time to you in exchange of my sight. Now, 30 hours is almost full-time. And this is only a volunteer job. This is not a full-time job. So, no, Georgia, I'm ashamed of you. cutting that little hairs. I don't know if you notice on some of my videos have hairs around here, a little thing. And the people say, wonder, oh, what the, what the hell is that? Well, it's my sound mic. It has a cover, a protector for the wind. That when I'm in the middle, today is a very windy day, so you don't hear the <laughs> because that thing protect. I'm not too happy today, even that I don't have a reason, but when you have someone next to you for three decades, 30, more than 30 years, you get uh, attached to that thing. Uh, I had those two little friends that being my companions, they share with me good moments and bad moments for many, 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 many years. And today I had to let it go. I had to let it go because they are to a point that is not good. I'm not talking about anything human. I'm talking about those two guys. My right foot, shoes, or boot, and my left. 30 something years ago, I bought those two guys. It being with me, for that long and he been with me and great places and very bad places. I always trust them to step strongly with power. They never failed me. They never weak, nothing. It's always strong. My steps was always with these two guys. Today, after using him for a little while, he get wet, they've been broken down here, also on this side too. Inside they're really bad, the other one is the same shape. Look at that, it's really, really, really bad. So my right and left guys are leaving me today. I wanna keep this, this thing, because they're, they're very good, just to, have a memory of this guy. But those two guys are going, going to a better life. And I do, in front of you guys, appreciate them. All the time and support you guys give me. With a real camera, with 70 pound camera and a backpack with batteries, with lights, and 
terrible places, great places. Those two guys being steps that I can remember so many places, castles uh, with very important people in Egypt and the pyramid. This guy being there inside the pyramid, these two guys. Today I had to let it then go. I tried to take it to a shoe repair and the guy say, buy, buy another one. And I say, I can't. It's, I'm attached so much to this guy. But look at this, it's already, you know, has sand inside, water, get wet. It's, it's really bad. Thank you guys for being there for me. And thank you for being a subscriber watch my shows with my Cuban Christianness and share with all the people give me a thumb remember we youtubers need that kind of support that makes it a little better in front of YouTube organization you know here in Bahia Honda there is a guy I met him I got you know I've been here for four months so I met this guy, his name is George. George is well known as a, an entertainer. It's a kind of weird entertainer, but it's very special. Uh, he does bubbles. And he attracts the attention of the people with these things, with those. You will see it, you will see it in a minute. So I'm going to the top of the bridge right there. He's over there waiting for me to do the interview with his bubbles. And it's, it's a simple thing, but it's so fascinating how he makes a big bubbles on the bubble stays in the air. And then, let's see. Yeah, he's right there. You can see his image from here with his hat and his two sticks with the bubbles. Guys, this is George. How you doing? How you doing, my friend? All right. Guys, this is George. We've been trying to do an interview for quite a while, but today is the day. Yeah. How you doing, my friend? It's been a nice you day. You picked up a beautiful day. So yeah, beautiful it's too bad the wind's today. not going that way. It's all right. right no there. problem. No problem. Such is life. Like I was saying, look at this guy. Oh, look at how beautiful. Right? Oh, wow. Everything is beautiful, man. Look at this, guys. This is so gorgeous. Wow. George, how long you been doing this? I've been doing this seriously for seven years, where I do seven it just years. about every day. But I understand you're doing, you're doing in all the keys. Yeah. From Key West? Every, wherever I go. I what? travel my van and I travel mm -hmm. all over. and mm -hmm. It's just a habit. It's a habit that I, I okay. do. Who get more attention from you? Kids, adults, women, men? Who is the people uh, who really... It's, a, it's kind of a chick magnet. It's a magnet. Okay. And then, and if there's kids, kids will, yeah, kids okay. will love it too. But usually, the gal will come up first and and start talking. <laughs> and I invite her to do some bubbles, wow. you know. Okay. And it goes from okay, there. Look at this. Look, look at this, guys. How beautiful. Born in Ohio and grew up in Indiana. In Ohio and Indiana. And you are now in Florida. <laughs> and now I'm a Florida resident. Yeah, I, yeah, like I said, I grew up with snow. Yeah. And I haven't seen snow in seven years. So ah, well, it's all right. You're I, not missing nothing. No, too I, many I years. had all that as a kid. Yes, you do. And as an adult. But <laughs> it's nice not to, yeah, not yeah, to have. Yeah, yeah. Jesus, look at this. Wow. Okay. <laughs> that was beautiful. Jesus. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. Do you consider yourself an expert about this or no? No, it's just I've had a lot of practice. Yes, a lot of practice. You just, the slower you go, the better. And it's, okay. And everything's just slow motion. Wow. And you just shake it a little bit and it gets mm -hmm. more. 
Oh, she's coming, she's coming, she's coming to get it. <laughs> <laughs> this give you pleasure? Yes. Yeah, it does. It yeah. give you, I mean, when you go to bed at night, you go, I it, make it's, it's happy great. some people. It's great karma. Yeah. It's a great karma. Yeah. It is great. I mean, like, there's no, almost nobody that does like bubbles, wow. unless it's convertible or yeah. Wow. Who, who come out with the idea to call you Bubble George? Me. You. Yeah. So that's the name that you put it on. Yeah, that's it. My name's George. And I know George Bubble, is your name. Bubble uh, George does. Well, Bubbles also. Bubbles. Uh, uh, there, there's already a, probably a Bubble Man. Probably. Oh, I just want to tell you that in the name of a lot of people who ad admire and appreciate what you do, I'm going to say thank you. Because the little time you here, you take me to my child, oh, childhood. Oh, good. And I usually, I, I didn't do the much, but I liked the, there was a lot of uh, neighbor, neighbor, next door neighbor uh, friends that they used to do it from their balcony. Uh -huh. So all the kids down on, yeah. the, on, the, on the ground, you know, trying to catch uh -huh. how many bubbles you catch. So, Jenny, let me ask you a question. Yeah. Why we do this all the time in some sense? Well, it's a Key West tradition. I mean, in Key West. In Key West. They used to do this every night off the pier down at Mallory Square. And each boat had one of these on it. That was their horns. Okay. So they would blow as they were coming into port and leaving. Mm -hmm. That way their wives knew they were home from okay. their week out. Okay. Um, they were used in church for music. They were used in the school for the school bell. I met a teacher. She... 35 years ago was down there and that's how she did it blew the horn and the kids came into the classroom Wow so it has a lot of Key West tradition to it um, and in the sunset why on the sunset just to say just to night. say good night thank you you're welcome you guys thank you very much appreciate it thank you very much thank you Jennifer thank you very much Janice. She, Janice, Janice. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, okay, Janice. She's my co-worker. She's my one of the ranger here. How long have you been here? Eight years. Eight years. Mm -hmm. I've only been here four months, but I adore her already. And we can't wait, wait for I'm you sorry, to come I'm, back. I'm sorry. Uh, I know your husband is going to say this, but can I give you a kiss? Yes. Yes. She is the best ranger, and I'm going to tell you why. Because when she does her job, everything looks impeccable. And I Thank know, you. And I know the next morning. Thank you. Jenny. We do it all for our guests. Yes, I that's know. what it's all about. I know. I know. And that's why we're, that's why I'm here. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye bye. Good morning, guys. How you doing? I hope you're okay. Like I always said, I hope you are okay. Let me put the tripod here. It's time to leave. Yes, today is October 31st, Halloween night. Trick or treat. Clipper is ready. Mm. Hondi is ready carrying Katie so I already tied up and everything is hooked up and uh, everything is ready to get the hell out of here Yep. <laughs> 